On today's episode of People Saying Dumb Shit on the Internet, this wannabe high value man is going viral on social media for saying he doesn't want a woman taking his resources without giving up the poom poom. Just what the video. You're not, you're not yamming, you're not coming to my yard, eating my food, yeah, taking, taking my water out of the fridge, running my, re taking my, my resources, yeah, I'm not letting a woman come to my yard and take my resources, and not free up pum pum, because that's the only thing women can offer man, the only thing women can offer man is pum pum, if there's no pum pum on the table, you need to, you need to just spin back, and hit your sides. There's no point jamming here no more. A woman is not gonna take my resources and leave me with a stiff one, fam. Is my name Mr. Blue Bulls? Is my name Johnny? I don't think so. First of all, I don't know what resources he's talking about, but I guess he's scared to lose them paper towels. He has to guard those resources. It doesn't have many left. As you can see, they are all behind him for easy guarding. This video got me thinking, how bad is the rest of the place if he thought that was the best angle? Bro really set himself up for this one because ain't no way he thought this was a good idea. Bro need to resource some bed sheet, some headboard, and some pillows. He should relax on the Red Pill podcast and fix his life. I understand why women be dragging out sometimes because ain't no way. But let me know what you think on that. Moving on, on another episode of people just saying anything on the internet, this woman is saying a man making less than $200,000 can't take care on a date. Just watch the video. There's no way that I'm going to date a man that makes under 200 k a year. That don't even make no sense. I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> I can struggle by myself, okay? Why would I want to struggle with a man? So if you're not making 200 k you can't date me. You trying to date me? <laughs> I only date millionaires, baby. Like, you better get it right. I can't say what I really want to say on YouTube, but damn, I better step my game up. Imagine what it costs to date someone, you know. I guess keeping my money for myself wasn't so bad after all. Y'all boys be safe out here because the delusion is at an all-time high. Moving on to the next one. This lady says a real man wouldn't ask a real woman about her body count. Just what the video. Would you tell your man your real body count or you... To be honest, a real man don't, a real man is not going to ask a real woman her body count. It's not important. If you want to know about how many men I slept with in the past, so that can make you insecure, so that can make you feel like you're not enough, so that can make you feel like you're not great enough, that's on you. If you want to know, go ahead and ask, but I'm going to look at you differently afterwards because what my past got to do with you and what we got going on in the future. First of all, I would say this. Anytime you hear a woman start with a real man this, a real man that, she's about to say some bullshit. But regarding what she said, I would say this. Body count does matter. Should you ask? No. But if you think the reason a man asks a woman about her body count is for pride, then you're mistaken. I hate it when people say what my past got to do with what we got going on in the future. Shit, even a doctor wants to know your medical history. In most cases, the past is a great indicator for the future. And unless you know the type of partner you are going to deal with or you are already dealing with. If you're looking for a wife, that's something you will want to know. But you got to have that conversation in a way that will not offend her. But if you're looking for a good time, you don't need to know. And upon further research, I found out she does OnlyFans. So her answer is not really surprising. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.